Hello, welcome, Jill here. Thank you for joining me for week 11. Two more weeks to go, guys, of the 12 week fitness challenge. Just did a technical reboot, so I'm just getting this live stream going. Thank you so much for joining me. I know a lot of you joined me at a later date, so just keep in mind that those comments are super, super appreciated for the collective. They keep everybody motivated. I have a super fantastic workout planned for us today. Few pieces of equipment that I am going to incorporate, but I give you options without. I've got the step. I have uh, some ski poles for me to stay in the frame when we do the mobility with the hips. And I also have a, a ball for the ab track at the end, but I will show you modifications. We're gonna start with a weighted warm up. Don't need a mini band. And we're gonna head right into the workout. Thank you for joining me. Drop a comment, hit that like button, help me break through the algorithm. Always appreciated when you share the workouts as well. All right, let's get started here. Take a few deep breaths in. I know sometimes that mic can get a little too loud. Try to hold it further away from my mouth. Roll the shoulders back. Let's keep that core engaged. You wanna soften the knees. You wanna soften the hips, but tighten up that tummy, all right? Let that oxygen in. We're gonna start with a single squat when you're ready. Down and up. One thing I love about this class, we really get that focus on the form. The tempo is slower. Basic movements here. A little bit deeper. Eight. Feet planted firmly on the floor. Let's go eight more. Good. Thank you for joining me, guys. This is a great class to really own in. One muscle group at a time, activation and mobility. These workouts help support the compound moves, plyometrics, fast twitch directional changes in the cardio, and functional fitness. Let's pulse for three, down together. Good. Three, are you squeezing your glutes on the way up? Tighten that tummy so your hips don't hyperextend at the top as well. Seven pulses, let's go. Three, two, my chest is facing you. Three, two, 15, stay here. Stay here. Lots of flexion in the knees, weight in the back. Feel my glutes, quads, core. Three, two, singles. Eight, seven, six, good. Four. Pulse 15, together. Stay here, stay here. Getting those legs warmed up today. Three, two, back down for seven. Three, two, one more time for seven. Keep that neck spine neutral. Triples, three, three more for three. Good. Legs are nice and warm here. Let's finish with singles. Eight. Four more. Deadlift. Down for two. Good. Lengthening, strengthening back of the legs here.
fly combo. Palms face in, hinge, fly in and up. I've got a light set for the warm up. Let's hold for three. We're making that mind muscle connection, waking up, stimulating neurotransmitters. Take it up again for three. It's that communication between the brain and the body. Single combo, one fly. Bicep curls coming up. We're gonna go singles right away. Biceps. Squeeze. Four. Three. Side lateral raise. For eight. Four more. Tricep kick back for eight. Finishing out the warm up. Elbows in tight, pinkies back. Weight stopping at your thighs. We've got a quick stretch following. We're gonna head right into the leg track. Good, weights down. Grab a hold of a shoelace. Stretch out the quads. Now that the body's warm, muscles are supple. You're stretching to the point of mild tension only, no jerk motions. A few deep breaths in, then you can ease into that stretch a little bit deeper. Other side. Good. Let's take a side lunge, stretching out the inner thighs. Deep breath in. On over to the other side, friends. Good, we're gonna start with our squats. Up to you on that load. Feet planted firmly on the floor. Draw the shoulders back, single squats. Let's go down together. We've got lots of pulses coming up. And singles, and a knee raise. Pulse three, three, two, one. So this is level one. Good. Level two, you can add a knee raise. Right to start. Three, two, one, up. Three, now left. Got that anterior hip activation and transverse, lower core, deep core. Get ready for single squat. Option to go alternating knee. Let's go. Nice. Working the legs, working that core. Breathing. You don't want the knee raise? Single squat. Back to the pulses. Three, two, one, like this. Going back to the pulses with the knee raise, left first. Three, two, one, left knee. Three, a little bit lower now that you have the movements dialed in. You wanna make this count? Big pulses, wiggle the toes. Back to the singles. You don't need to add the knee, friends. It's up to you.
Eight more. This gets the heart rate up. You're working compound, flexion along the knee and hip at tempo. Breath is heavy here. Good, deadlift, down and up. Lots of legs packed into the front of the class. Wide squat. Let's start slow, down, up, down. Ready for pulses, 15. You can rest your weights on your thighs anytime. You can get a little lower. Working the adductors, deep glutes. Three, two, singles, flush it out. Eight. Keep your weights close to your body or rested on your thighs. Pulse 15. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Singles, flush it out. Eight. Two more sets. Make it count. Active recoveries here in between. Pulse 15, let's go. Seven. Three, two, singles, blush it out. Four more. Three. Two, last set, 15. Come on. We can do this, hang in there. Sink into the discomfort. The rewards are coming. Three, two, tempo, flush it out. Eight, great job, not easy. That's why those comments are important helps to support the collective, helps to keep us all motivated and accountable. Deadlift. Catch your breath here. You really do get the heart rate up and the pulses. Four more. We're going back to the pulse three squat. Option to add that knee raise. Start basic first. Pulse three. Good. My legs feel so strong today. It's all about that consistency. Body starts to crave more. Right knee up. Pulse three, two, one. Feel that core highly engaged, controlling this movement. Three, two, one. Three more. Come on. Get that knee up. Singles. more let's go four more going back to the pulse three no knee three two one if you want to go top quarter take an active recovery or take a deadlift last set Let's start with the net left knee, pulse three. Last set, right knee. 
Good. Stimulating that HGH, human growth hormone. You've got this. Three. Four more. Make it count, guys. Building that muscular endurance as well. Singles, alternating knees, your choice. I give you options, relax the foot. Last eight, come on, we've got this. Four, three, two, deadlift, nice work. All right, we're gonna give the quads a break, glutes a break. We're gonna activate hips, so there will be some glutes. Weights down. Nice. Grab a sip of water if you need. I've only got the ski poles so that I can stay in the center of the frame. If you want to grab hold of a chair or a wall, forward, right, hip circles. Four, three, two, one. Try to draw big circles here. You can slow it down, let's slow it down. This is not about speed. It's about waking up those dormant muscles around that hip socket joint, ball and socket, that you didn't think you had. make that mind-body connection. It takes focus. Those neurotransmitters, they are a real deal. Try to keep your pelvis neutral, navel pointing forward, okay? It's okay if this, the knee draws a smaller circle. Go two more. Find the parameters of that circle. One more, we're gonna switch sides. Standing leg does a lot of work here. It's pretty warm in here, I had the heat up, but now, I'm sweating after working our larger muscle group, quads, glutes, and core. Without locking that standing knee. How are we doing? Can we go a little bigger on that circle? I hope I've emphasized the importance of these activation mobility exercises, how they're integral for a well-rounded fitness program. We place a lot of demands on those plyometric, big muscle movements, deadlifts, squats, lunges. Other side, in reverse. Even with functional activities such as sitting for a long period of time. You want to activate those glutes. You want to do lots of core and posterior work. Bringing awareness to your pelvic position. It's all about that upright health, how you hold your posture, the position of your spine in relation to your pelvis. going. 
two more. Make it count. Big circle. Lots of little players in and around that ball and socket joint, tendons, ligaments, connective tissue. Are you ready? Even if you've got anything such as a labral tear, many of us do, it's conditioning those little connective tissue, ligaments and tendons that's really going to help support that joint. Your hips are the epicenter of movement throughout your day. They also take a load when you sit for long periods of time. There's lots of inactive muscles with sitting. Two more. They weaken over time. Many people think you need to stretch excessively. It's a lot about the activation and easy stretching. Good. Nice work. All right, first set lunge track, second set Bulgarian split squat from the step. It's optional, this is why I give you your first level one option. Lunge on the floor, slow lunge, good. Nice, lots of work in that front glute back half. Stability in the core, hips, knees, ankles, focus ahead here. Three and one, down slow. Up quick. How low can you get the back knee? Three, two, tummy in nice and tight. Four more. Working with lots of legs today. Lower body focus. Two and two. Down. Up. Steady here. Precision. You want your mechanic to work on your car with precision. You want to work on your body maintenance with precision. Stay focused. A little bit of finesse, a little bit of grace, a little bit of effort. Singles. You can step a little wider. Nice. It all adds up. Let's go. Eight more. Good. advanced no question about it go halfway or hold on to a chair anytime deadlift coming up step together Down. flush it out check in with your body perceived exertion one glute is more fatigued than the other left leg stepping back slow These are guided, structured workouts. You just show up with a fierce, positive mental attitude that can go a long way. Down, slow. Keep going. Notice my back knee nice and low. It's lots of deep glutes here. Good. Three and one. It's not always about variety, especially in these basic muscle classes. It's about building that strength over consistency, over time, by showing up.
It's a lifestyle. It's a journey to end to. Let's go together. The goal of the 12 week fitness challenge, friends, is to give you that momentum to launch you into a fantastic fitness regime that you can maintain, sustain, and flourish. Get ready for singles. We have eight. Put the emphasis in that front glute. Squeeze. Last two. Deadlift. Good. Down. And up. I'm going to go no weights for the Bulgarians, but squat. I'm going to use body weight, gravity, leverage with the step. If you don't have a chair, if you don't want to use that leverage, it's more stability. We're really getting that one leg focus. Right leg will step back. We've got a soft surface under where the knee will come down just in case, right? You want to protect your joint. Square the hips down. My back foot is hooked on that step, but my weight is in the front leg. Front glute, front quad, core, stabilizing the body. Down. Get that back knee all the way down. Keep going. And one. Let's go. Three. Up quick. Remember your modification. Back to the standard lunge. Two and two. Down. Up. This is tough. Last four, three, Ooh. my front leg is on fire, just that body weight, shake it out, that is tough, Ooh. set it up, how are you doing? I wouldn't put this in here if it wasn't a valuable track for slow. Up. Lots of good conditioning. Waking up dormant muscles you never thought you had in the feet, ankles, knees, and hips. So if anyone's battling with knee issues, this is gonna give you a nice robust activation strength, quads, glutes, hips, knees, ankles. This is one of my favorite leg tracks. So effective. The build up to it. Let's go. Keep going slow. Down. Rome wasn't built in a day. That rings true for your fitness. Small progressions in form, execution, load. Three and one. Two and two. Steady. Down. Up. Now the hip is square, it's not open like that. My navel is pointing forward. Last four. 
Stay with us. Three. Two. One. Shake it up. Almost didn't make it up that last set. That's why I've got that soft surface. That was tough. Almost feeling dizzy there. Whew. You can do this standing. We're gonna stretch out the glutes. Cross your ankle over the opposite knee. Feel that heart rate in those Bulgarian split squats. Not just resting, I'm doing a nice stretch in that glute. Other side. Feed your muscles. Take a few deep breaths in here. What do you want out of your workout today? You can grab your shoelace standing. I'm gonna do a nice quad stretch here. Favorite quad stretch right here. It's not about how far back you can get your hips, it's about that posterior pelvic tilt. You're gonna feel a nice stretch from the hip all the way down to the knee. Ooh, sweating in here. Good. Release. Good meditative stretch. Are we ready for back? Let's bring the step a little closer. Let's stay in the frame. If you have a table, a step. One arm row. Always have a soft surface. Let's go slow here. Up and down. Singles. We've got 16. You want to bring the elbow right up to the ceiling. Keep going, friends. Keep going. Eight. Try to keep that neck neutral. You're working the obliques. Pulse three. Again. Three, two, one, that's it. Pulse three. Singles. 16. We're only doing one set each side. We're going to go through the upper body at a quicker pace. When you focus on the legs, you really stimulate muscle growth in the entire body. Eight. Seven. Six. We're going to switch sides right away. In four. Three. Two. Other side. Up. Down. Two and two. Up. And down. There's no rush though, guys. Four more. Slow. Feel 
feel lots of control through the hip by using transverse and the obliques, lats, rhomboids, biceps, singles, 16. Rear shoulder. I want you to try to bring the weight up to the navel, not the ribs. Small difference because you want to activate the lats here. Eight. And four. Three. Two. Pulse. Keep going. Pulse. Three. Two. One. 16 singles to finish. Make it count. Working that posterior chain, unilateral movements, eight. Good. Come into a child's pose. We're going to go diagonal, grab a hold, side of the step. You can do a self-guided back stretch if you don't have this platform to work with. Feel lots of length in the side wall of the body. Come into a rounded chin to chest, spine to the ceiling. Before we switch, other side. Diagonal child's pose. When you train consistently, you also want to stretch the body consistently. Grab your weights for biceps. You want to soften the knees. We're not using any momentum, swaying the body back and forth. You want to hug your our upper arms are nice and tight. Four. And down. Four. <clears throat> Keep going. going. Hop. Have a challenging load here. You can always superset. Middle reach coming up. Watch for the change. Middle reach. Pull it in. Take it down. That's it. Let's hold for three. Let's go. Three, two, good. Three, two, slow curl. That's it. Up. All of a sudden, that slow curl got extra challenging. Two more. I'm going to lighten the load after this. We're going to move at a quicker pace. Option to go lighter. Good. Shake out the hands. Pull it back. Stretch it out. Right, two and two. Up and down. Again, palms face up. It's a supine rip. Four more. No swinging, no swaying here. Weight stopping at your thighs. If you want to go wide squat just to prevent any momentum, bottom singles. 
eight, seven, four, three, top, singles, let's go. Full singles. Four, three, two, bottom singles, eight, seven. This is our extended bicep, last set, four, three, top singles, in two, eight, shoulders coming up. Four, three, two, full singles. Let's go. Four more. In two. One. Weights down. Shake it out. Drop a comment, guys. How are these isolation exercises working for you? I want there to be expressed value. If you're finding value, some undermine the muscle class. It's definitely not one to be undermined, undervalued. Pull it back. I wouldn't put it in the program if it wasn't meant to be here. Good. Overhead shoulder press. We're gonna go alternating in four. You don't wanna arch the back here. Good. Right, left, then watch for the chain. Right. Now both arms twice. You're building that upper body strength here. There's no emphasis from the legs. But you're tightening up that core. Two presses. Loosen up that grip. You want to keep the blood into the shoulders. Keep going. Grab your lighter set or no weights at all. This is challenging. Last two. deadlift. That's tough. I'm going to go lighter next set. In four. In three. This time we start with the left. Start with the left. Two presses. Good. Stay with us. You're stronger than you think. Take out a rep anytime. Oh, arms feel pretty heavy. Can we go two more? Last one. That's failure. I have to say failure feels pretty amazing. Bring your arm behind, ear to shoulder. Lots of tension builds up in the traps. Other side. The length here helps to reduce stress that builds up in the exercise program. We're going to go triceps before we bring the mat out. If this doesn't work for you, any discomfort on the front shoulder joint, elbow or wrist, grab your dumbbells 
keep your elbows neutral, not flare, and go overhead extension. Tricep dip, coming up, in four. Fingers forward, elbows back, set the shoulder blades in. Now some of you may find too much tightness that you can't get that range of motion. Everybody's built a little bit differently. I don't want you to feel discouraged. Grab those dumbbells. Haven't done these in a while. I'm gonna use my feet tucked in nice and tight. Helps support this movement. Helps to take a load off that body weight. Eight, seven, six. Love working the outer arms. Four, three, two. Sit it up, stretch it out. Option, alternating toe tap. Now, if it doesn't work for you, go back to the regular. If you wanna slow it down, that's what I recommend. All right, let's start this movement here. Dip, tap, dip. Tap, takes core and glutes and triceps, front shoulders. Option to go a little bit quicker. Do not speed it up if you don't feel comfortable to do so. Slow it down. Keep going. My hair is getting caught in my shoulders. Last two, last one, wardrobe malfunction or hair malfunction. Stretch it out. Other side, I've got mics, wires, tape around the mics, hair and outfits. A little bit more focus for me. We're gonna finish with the same, the way we started. I'll give you the option to add the pulses. It's just a basic tricep dip or overhead. Let's burn out those triceps. In four, three, two, option to dip, pulse. In four, three, Two. Nice work. Stretch it out while I remove the step. I'm gonna grab our mats. Light weight. your mats. How are we doing? Already feel lots of work done on the shoulders and the triceps here. Side lying. Leg extension. Fantastic outer hip. Love this track here. Hips are stacking and tummy is in tight. Notice my toe is pointing forward and slightly inverted. It's not pointing up. My weight is touching the outer hip. That's the muscle I'm activating. Pulse. 
three, two, one. Stay for the entire workout team. Every exercise has a purpose. Seven. Three, two, one more. Seven. Three singles. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Watch for the change. And two. You can rest that leg. We're going up slow. Down. So you want to work the obliques here. I'm going to go two weights. Four, three, two, one. Going back to one weight. Speed it up. Up for two. Down. So it's all tension on the medial delt versus standing lateral raise. You've got the tension from the bottom to the top. When you do this standing, you only have tension on the top. Singles. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have started heavy. Find this very challenging. Four, three, two, one. Notice I've got bent elbows there. That's a challenging track. Come on over to the other side. We're almost through. Hips are stacking. Side lying leg raise. Obliques are in nice and tight. Eight more. Four. Three. Two. Pulse. Three. Two. Strengthening those hips, obliques, bottom glute as well, all seven. Working the outer hip here, three, two, one. Three, singles, eight, seven, stay strong, this is tough. Well worth it. Two. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm going to try to go even load just as I did before. Chest facing forward. Medial and rear delt. Two and two. Love that burning sensation in the deltoid. More challenging at this body position because you've got tension on the start to end range. Get ready for singles. Last set. Tempo. Last eight. Seven. This is tough. Four. Three. Two. Good. Now I'm actually lighter on the sideline. If I was to do the standing lateral raise, I could probably go heavier and 16. Goes to show how challenging that is. Stretch 
it out. I'm going to grab a Swiss ball for dead bug. This is our ab track, friends. If you don't have that basic equipment, no problem. Use your hands and legs. I'm going to adjust my receiver. Too much hair on the way today. Join in when you're ready. If you don't have the ball, this is your option. Without the ball, opposite leg, opposite arm. Low back, lead to the mat. Keep going. Four more. Come on. It's all about gluing the, la the low back down to the mat. A quick rest here in two, in one. Good. Hug your knees in. We're almost through. Going second version of the dead bug. Option, bend the knees. going to slow it down. Passing the ball, lifting the shoulder blades up off the mat. I've got long legs. going. Last two. Last one. That's a little bit challenging. I'm going to switch the music. You want that extra ab track, guys? Go to the bicycle. Point and flex your foot. Cross it over, hug your knee in. Deep breaths, friends. And switch. Cross it over, hug it in. Nice stretch in the glutes. Deep breath. We're going to take one down dog. Walk your hands up toward your feet. 
hang here for a moment. One vertebrae at a time, roll it up. Lots of stretching in between the tracks today. If you'd like more time, please take it. Total body muscle. Love these classes. My name is Jill. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share these workouts. Make sure you give this workout a thumbs up. Helps to break through the algorithm. And we'll see you again. Take care.